going for 20 point bonus. I'll give you a nursery rhyme. You answer it. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? Abramson Harrelson. With, uh, with, I was going to say English bells and cockle shells and. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Uh, Rumble, fuselage. Rumble. Silver bells and cockle shells and pre maze all in a row. That is correct. That is correct. <laughs> Ten points. All right, a 20 point bonus. His name is derived from the Greek word dinos, meaning fearful or monstrous, both of which he was. He was of the order Sauritia or Ornithischia, and he existed during the Mesozoic era. For 20 points, what do we call him? Dinosaur. Dinosaur is correct. And you have 20 points in your bonus, Archbishop Rummel. We move on to another class up. We're going for a 30-point bonus. Here's a big one. You're driving down the highway when suddenly you get a flat. So you pull over, and you affix the traditional highway distress signal to your car area. Abramson Acres. Uh, red handkerchief. A handkerchief. No, I'm afraid not. Not a red handkerchief. Um, we'll repeat now for Rummel. You're driving down the highway when you suddenly get a flat, you pull over and affix the traditional highway distress signal to your car aerial for 10 points. What do you put on your aerial? Rummel, it's a toss-up. You must ring for recognition. Anyone? It is a white, a white cloth. It has to be white, a white cloth or a handkerchief. We move on to another. No, we're not going to. We won't have a chance in this first half. But the first half ends in a very close game between two excellent teams. We'll be talking to those teams in just a moment, so stay with us, will you? Please. We stand at halftime. Rummel leading 85-45 in what is obviously a very close game with plenty of time left to go. Before we resume action, though, I'd like to introduce Casey Gahagan, who is the captain of the Rummel team. And we have some film of Rummel High School, which Casey's going to narrate for us. Casey? Thank you, Mr. Levin. Archbishop Rummel High School is one of four archdiocesan Catholic high schools, which was opened to students of Jefferson Parish in September of 1962. The school is now the largest Catholic boys high school in the South, with an enrollment of approximately 1,360 students. The Christian Brothers, with the assistance of a dedicated lay faculty, maintain a curriculum geared toward the college preparatory level. Modern language and science labs aid the student body in keeping up with current trends in learning, while the art department develops the artistic talents of the students. The regular program is supplemented with elective seminar courses in such varied areas as photography, sports, literature, journalism, and law enforcement. Over 30 extracurricular organizations round out the Rummel student. The Drama Club has won several area, regional, and state awards in competition and two first places in individual events on the national level. The Raider Band has received superior ratings for the past several years and was recently invited to participate in a cultural exchange program with Poland. In the past five years, Rommel athletic teams have competed in state playoffs in track, basketball, baseball, and football. In conclusion, Archbishop Rommel High School attempts to foster an atmosphere of accomplishment, inspiring pride in every activity available to man in the 20th century, whether it be academic, athletic, social, or spiritual. Thank you, Casey. Good job. And congratulations, Rommel. Abramson is back for a third time, and uh, we usually ask when they appear for a third time what the hobbies and pastimes and extracurricular activities are. Jim, how about you, Jim Akers? Well, uh, I enjoy scuba diving and all water sports and uh, literature. Very good. John, what do you like to do in your spare time? I like to play a little soccer and I collect coins. Right. Are you a good soccer kicker? The Saints are, you know, looking for... Not that good. Not that good yet. Not that well, good. maybe. Mary, how about you? We got, well, I'm out of phase here. We'll start ladies first. Mary? Okay, I like archaeology and athletics. Archaeology. Very good. And uh, what about you, Clay? Well, I like to read, and uh, I also enjoy electronics and uh, hi-fi equipment. Very good. Well, good luck to all of you, and it's nice to have you back once again. Abramson High School. All right, there's the whistle, and we're about to uh, set sail on our second half here. We'll begin with a toss-up leading to a 25-point bonus. A book by S.M. Lipset called The First New Nation tells about the first major overseas colony that successfully revolted against a major European power. For 10 points, what was this new and underdeveloped country? Abrams and Acres. America. That's right, the United States or America. 13 colonies. <clears throat> All right, the judge is going to hand you a chart here. We have several sets of words. 
several twosomes, five sets in all, actually. For five points each, we'd like you to tell us, you can ask them, uh, we can ask you to spell if necessary. In set one, which word means deserving esteem? Which are the two words? Or the second one. That's right, the second one, creditable. In set two, which word means deceptive? The second one. No, it's the first one, elusive, not elusive. Uh, in set three, which word means artificial? Uh, the second one. That's correct, factitious is correct. In set four, which word means prudent or circumspect? The second one. No, it is the first one with the double E spelling discreet. In set five, which word means to drive away? The second one. The second one is correct. Disperse, and you had three, I believe, of the five. That's 15 points in your bonus. Abramson? Another toss-up going for a 30-point bonus. For 10 points, this is very quick, for 10 points, what was the last name of Romeo in Shakespeare's play? Abramson Akers. Montague. He was a Montague. You're correct for 10 points. All right, ready for 30-point bonus from the Battle of Jericho to present times. Walls have been built or came tumbling down. For 10 points each, answer these questions about walls, famous walls. First, in 1938, Hitler built this fortified line opposite the Maginot Line. What did he call it? Siegfried Line. That's right, it's a Siegfried Line. Second, it was July 21st, 1861. At what battle did Brigadier General Bernard B. say... There is Jackson standing like a stone wall. <clears throat> what was the name of the, the battle? Anyone? It was Bull Run. Bull Run. All right, finally, in the Hersey novel entitled The Wall, in what city is the wall built? Anyone? It was Warsaw. Warsaw. You had one for three, though, and that's ten more points. Abramson. All right, Abramson's moved ahead. Now we have a toss-up, and it's leading to a 30-point bonus, so listen carefully. The highest waterfall in the world is twice as high as the Empire State Building. Rommel, and Lacour. Is... Angel Falls. Angel Falls is correct. It's located in Venezuela for 10 points. All right, Abramson, just five points behind the 30-point bonus in the offing. Here's a science potpourri for you now, and a 10-point reward for each correct answer. First, what are complex organic compounds of very high molecular weight invariably containing carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, which make up the major part of all living matter. What are they called? Amino acids. It's kind of amino acids. No, these are proteins, proteins. What are elements which have the same atomic number but different numbers of protons and neutrons in the nucleus? Isotopes. That is correct, to put you ahead. What is a solid in which the component molecules, atoms or ions, are oriented in a definite and repeated geometric pattern? Crystal. Crystal is right. You have two of three. You have 20 points. You're ahead. Archbishop Rummel. A very close game indeed. And here we have another toss-up. We're going for 30-point bonus again for 10 points. How many atoms of nitrogen must combine with how many atoms of hydrogen to form one molecule of ammonia. Bravo, fuselage. Uh, one. Well, we want how many atoms of nitrogen, how many of hydrogen? One and three. One? And three. One of what and three? One of nitrogen, three of hydrogen. That is right. You have ten points. <laughs> Wanted to be, be specific. All right, you have a 30-point bonus. Some quite long-winded writers have written novels and plays with very short, succinct titles. For 10 points each, name the author of each of these series of single-word titles. First, he wrote Chance, Suspense, Victory, and Typhoon. Who was it? All right, we'll ask for an answer. It was Joseph Conrad. This man wrote Mosquitoes, Sartorius, and Sanctuary. Who was he? William Faulkner was the author. And finally, he wrote The Idiot, The Possessed, and The Gamblers. Anyone? It was Dostoevsky, the famous Russian author. We'll move on to another toss-up.